Wake up, dollar store, Sia. Oh my god. Where am I? Sia from the dollar store, wake up. What? Why did I just wake up and it's surgery? What's going on? Oh my god. Hey, hi. Yeah, I'm so sorry about all of this, but uh, your card declined. Oh, my card declined? I really thought I had more money. God damn you, Apple Music. It took my last money. I'm so sorry. I can see you guys. Wait. Why am I... Why am I missing a leg? Well, so... This is a plastic surgery. This is not build your own Lego edition. Why am I missing a leg? Oh my god. We already did your plastic surgery, but... Well, since you have no money, we had to find another way for you to pay us. So we... Might have cut your leg off, but don't worry, it's reattachable as long as you pay us the 20k. We can Gorilla Glue it back, yeah. I have some money on my Apple card. Let me scan my face ID, go ahead. Here. What? Oh no, the plastic surgery changed my face. Oh my god, no. We're going to have to cut the other leg off as well. Oh my god, please no, 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 hold on, hold on. One second, one second, one second. Stop. There's one more thing that guys don't have and they can never get access to. Use my vagina. Y your Scan my what? face ID through my vagina. How's, Go ahead. How's that even going to work? What do you... We can give it a try, I guess. Let me just... After a full month, I am finally back. How many of you guys actually missed me? Let me hear those claps. It's a little quiet. Let me hear those claps! I said, let me hear those claps. Oh, there we go. That's uh, my stalker. So while I was away, TikTok kept recommending me these creepy surgeons, like these plastic surgeons. And I'm like... What are you trying to say, TikTok? I'm only 27. Do I really... Do I need it? Is that what you're trying to say? Like the double chin? Let me show you one of these plastic surgeons. Before? Okay, she doesn't look bad. 74, wow. She doesn't look bad at all for 74. Who is that? Is that her daughter? That's the 7-year-old woman? What did he do to her face? Why does it look so fake, so unreal, like it's a robot wearing a human skin, you know what I mean? It just looks so stretched that it looks like it's a robot pretending to be human. Uncanny Valley, this is scary. It's like someone is wearing the skin. So this guy is called Dr. Kim and he's very popular on TikTok for doing these crazy plastic surgeries where he does these insane facelifts where they're so tight, I don't even think that they're breathing. Oh, what a good looking older gentleman. I'm scared to see the results. Oh my god! What happened to his- Where are the lips? Like, he just lost his lips! Why do his lips look like a lipless vagina right now? Is anyone seeing that? If you flip his lips, they kind of look like a vagina and I'm scared that YouTube might demonetize me because of how real that looks. Oh, what a beautiful young woman. Wait, she's going she for a facelift? A little bit of work done of her upper eyelids, maybe her lower eyelids. I don't think too. she needs a facelift. What a beautiful young woman. What? Okay, let's forget about the face for a second. It looks really stretched, like she's having a hard time breathing. Uh, the, the ears though? Like, what did he do to the ears? In the before, you can see her her ears here, and then after, what is happening with the ears? It's like he's making the ears, he's, he's taping the ears right here? Is that what he's doing? Hold up, let me try this. Ow. Is this what he's doing? I can't do it. The tape won't work. It's not strong enough. I feel like he's pulling the ears back so much and this the lower part is sticking out like a like a where have I seen that before who does this look like what happened to her earlobes I don't know you tell me you're the plastic surgeon I'm literally watching this video through a plastic surgeon to see what his opinion is about Dr. Kim's plastic surgery and when a plastic surgeon is asking questions about plastic surgery what do you expect us to say
That's like going to the doctor and he pulls the Uno reverse card on you and now you have to listen to his problems. Oh, what a little grandma. Oh. She reminds me a little bit of my grandma. Oh, I'm scared about this one. Woman. Oh my God. What did they do to grandma? People are commenting all over TikTok about this Dr. Kim's results. Is this taking it too far on a 46 year old? You tell me, plastic surgeon. On a beautiful 39 year old woman or approximately eight to 10 hours of surgery on a 76 year old woman? 10 hours of pain? Couldn't be me. You guys stay safe though. I'm going to Taco Bell. You want anything? Okay. Hi, welcome to Taco Bell. What can I get started for you today? Hi, can I do two Contract Supremes? Okay, anything else? And do you guys do facelifts here? Oh my god, it's one of those. He must be a Burger King customer. Sir, we only sell tacos and burritos here. Okay, but does it come with a facelift? I know some dangerous surgeries take like 10, maybe 20 hours, but to take 10 hours just for a plastic surgery? What is this guy doing to his patients for for like 10 hours, like maybe yeah, five hours, but what is happening with the extra five hours? God, this is kind of reminding me of that story of that woman who hit a voice recorder during her surgery and she actually found out that her surgeon was making fun of her and he intentionally botched her surgery or something. For Easter says she hit a recorder in her hair extensions before going under the knife for a hernia operation. Easter says the hospital workers made disparaging comments about her body. I was appalled, I was distraught, I was violated. Moving on to a different TikTok plastic surgeon. Wait, I don't I have no idea what this is. Is this Chinese? I don't know what language this is, but why does this sound American horror show? I don't think you should be using that sound to show your plastic surgery work. I'm a plan B regular. What are they doing to her? What is going on? Did she just finish plastic? <gasps> she just finished plastic. Why are they just grabbing her like that? What? Why is he grabbing her like that? She just finished plastic surgery and that's how you grab your patient? No way! By the, by the pants? This has to be illegal. Okay, you grab her by the elbow, I'll grab her by her foot, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. There we go. <sighs> Nick! I thought it was a doll. She kind of looked like a mannequin though, right? I'm pretty sure they could have put her, they could have done a much better job at putting this girl on a wheelchair or maybe on a different bed or something instead of just grabbing her by her clothes. Like she's just cash to you and this cash ran out and it's worthless to you so now you're just looking for a different bag of cash? Did I just, did I just describe plastic surgeons? What are they doing? Oh, they made her face smaller? You know this is a professional doctor when he uses Delhi by Ice Spice as an audio to show his patient's results. And we are done. Now, let me just record this real quick. Uh-huh, perfect. Get everything. I gotta post this on TikTok now. What audio do I pick? Let me see. Suck em titties. Suck em good. No, too calm. Work, work. Yeah. My kind of surgeon screaming professional right now. Oh, let's show the money as well. Yeah, flex the money that you just got from your patient. Okay, they look good, I guess. Yeah. Okay, the results are good. They're not as bad as the other guy. This one seems really good, but why is he flexing the money that he gets from his patients? On TikTok though, like maybe it's just me, but I would be uncomfortable if I went to see a doctor, like a plastic surgeon or whatever, and I just paid him twenty thousand dollars because let's just say I wanted bigger boobs because my boobs are too small. Yo, another day, another bank of profiting for people with body dysmorphia. What's up? Where my body dysmorphia people at? Show up at my clinic. Hey, yeah, so I wanted to get my boobs done. I feel like I need to get them done, but uh, you could also give me an opinion on my skin. Like, what do you think about my skin? Do you think I need a facelift or something? Like, okay, so let's take a look at your skin first. It looks like 
Yeah. What are, you, what are you doing? Why are you checking out my skin with cash? Because I'm rich. If I have all this cash, why would I use my hands when I could use my cash? I mean, come on, it's a privilege for you to be touched by this much money. <laughs> Let's be real here. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. You can do it with cash if you... Yeah. So what do you think of my skin though? Oh, about your skin. It looks poor. It looks like it's struggling to pay rent. Wait, what? That's not even... Those were not even her legs! Now that's a scam. Am I the only one who noticed that? Dude, those are not female hands. That's your own leg and hand. That's literally him! Did he just fucking record himself showing his leg muscles pretending that this is fat when in fact this is a muscle It's not fat. It's literally a fucking muscle and was the point of that to make people insecure so they can get Surgery to get whatever non-existing fat is in here What is happening with these plastic surgeons? They're making their patients with body dysmorphia even more body dysmorphic What's the name of this doctor? Dr. Chenyang Wan? His bio says, beauty is easy. WhatsApp me at this number. All you have to do is pay me and I'll bot you up. <laughs> I mean, I'll hook you up with... Flexing the money? <laughs> why is he always flexing money and why is everyone paying cash? I don't even remember last time I paid cash with something. Last time I used cash was when I cleaned my cat's poop because I didn't have anything else to clean it with and I used cash because I'm rich like that. You know me. I don't really care about money like that. <laughs> like money. <laughs> what is this choice? What's with the song choice? Talking about death while showing your work of plastic surgery is very interesting. Liposuction? That is not realistic. These girls are beautiful, but you know damn well that this body is not realistic at all. When was the last time you saw someone with a body like that? They're over here looking like... Mm -hmm. 100% natural, no BBLs or no plastic surgeries or whatever you call those. I can't even spell them. Not that I can spell anyways, but... Who's actually looking at this body and thinking that this is real? Going back to Dr. Kim, one criticism that he always gets is that he never shows the results of them being fully healed. The max that I've seen was, what, 10 days after plastic surgery? Why? Let me just have this wild guess. And the reason why he doesn't show his patients fully healed might be because uh, he botched their faces. Just a wild guess, just throwing it out there, you know? But there was this one video of the other plastic surgeon pointing out something weird in Dr. Kim's video, and that was the hands. The hands did not match the person's face. What? Oh my God. Plastic surgery coming out of Asia is so extreme that it actually makes me sad. I mean, how does somebody go from this to this? I mean, this is a ton of work that was done. I mean, she's a beautiful woman before and after, but why? And this whole thing is strange because are these truly the hands of a 69 year old woman? Here's another look at them. This is just strange. So this woman is supposed to be almost seven years old and I don't think I see a single wrinkle on her hands. Now, either these videos are extremely filtered where they make them look really old and that's not, and there's not a lot of wrinkles with their faces. Like, that's what's happening, right? And this woman is a lot younger than what the doctor says. Like, she might be 50 years old, maybe 60, but 70 and to have hands that look like she's, she's 30? What is happening here? Our seven-year-old grandma went from looking 70 to her looking like she's about to join the cheerleader squad in high school. Is that the same person? 
let me know what you think about these plastic surgeons. Also, let me know what you think about my new room. Like, look at this. Look at how much space I have. I can also pretend that I like to read. Oh, reading. I read. I'm smart. If you did enjoy this video, click like, subscribe, and the bell icon, and consider becoming a member to watch my videos a day early. Also, shout out to all the new members. I haven't been on YouTube for a while, so thank you for still being a member if you didn't cancel while I was not making videos. And for those who did cancel their memberships, <laughs> I still love you guys the same. I don't have a grudge at all against you, like nothing at all. Show your face over here. Yeah, come close. Also, let me know what you think about the new outro in 3, 2, 1.